Hello everyone, Pat Davis here at Don Johnson Motors in Wrights Lake, Wisconsin. Today I just want to take a few minutes here to show you this 2017 GMC Acadia. Uh, this is an SLT trim level, so that means that we have leather on the interior. Uh, we'll get to that here in a minute. Now uh, we do have a whole bunch here. This whole line is Acadia's, and we do have other ones that aren't here right now. They're across the street. Um, I just want to pick this one here today. Um, if you have any other questions about the other ones, you can ask about those too. We'll be happy to answer those questions. Back to this one. This is a 3.6 liter V6. Um, all wheel drive. You do have the option to switch it into front wheel drive if you choose so. Um, so now you don't have to worry about buying a front wheel drive vehicle because you want the fuel economy. You can get an all wheel drive now and uh, in the summertime switch it to front wheel and I'll show you that button on the inside once we get there. First off I'll show you the back here. Uh, as on all of them we have the backup camera also remote start, power driver seat, the backup sensors here on this one. Uh, this is third row. This is a little uh, I'd say a little smaller than our 2017 and down models. Um, but we still have six passenger capability here. These seats here, these do fold down. Just pull this handle right here, headrest slips down, and then you just push it forward. Same on this side. And then down here, uh, there is a little storage here. Uh, so if you want to put uh, umbrellas, jumper cables, um, whatever down there, there's, there's quite a bit of room. There's quite a bit of room down there. And then the middle row, that is buckets. The one seat is flipped down right now, um, but we have these nice handles over here. If you're in the back and you don't want to go around and load stuff up, you can just pull these handles and those seats will flip down. That front seat is back all the way. That's why that didn't flip down. Um, sorry about that. But it'll go just as flat as that seat and you'll have a whole bunch of room back here. Since we're back here and you can see it, um, this does have tri-zone climate control. So we have the dual zone up front, the passenger, the, the passenger and driver side, you can adjust the temperatures. And then in the back, um, we have the tri-zone. So back here, the passengers can adjust the temperature and then those back seats also have heated seats. And then there's two USB charge ports there and a 120 outlet. This lift gate, this is a power programmable lift gate. You can have it at half or, or no, sorry, you can have it at full or three quarters. Or if you have a low garage, you can adjust it to how high you want it to come up, program it to stay there, and that's where it'll open. This interior is a cocoa with a light ash gray. Uh, there's the seat colors. And then a look at the front. You can see the cocoa on the dash, and then the gray, and the steering wheel's cocoa also. I'll hop on the inside here. I'll show you a few more things. Uh, steering wheel is tilting and telescoping, so that goes up, down. You can uh, bring it in, pull it towards you, uh, wherever it's comfortable for you. And then over here we have our cruise control buttons, our Bluetooth for our, uh, our phone, so you can make and receive calls hands-free right on the steering wheel here. And then these buttons, those go through your driver information center. Um, so you can look at your trip meters, uh, if you want the digital speedometer on there, a uh, lot, lot of stuff in there. Tire pressure monitoring system, a whole bunch of stuff in there. Uh, the nice things... Um, in this here, I, I really like the weather. That is a neat uh, icon. Mode. Connected. And uh, so what we can do is we can pull up the hourly. We can look at a five-day forecast. If you want to change location and see what the, the weather is going to be like uh, somewhere else, uh, you can do that too. You can change the location. Another neat feature is the projection. Um, this vehicle just happens to have navigation. But if you were to purchase a vehicle that doesn't have navigation, this projection icon is standard on all our uh, GM vehicles. So what that does is you can plug your phone in. If you have an Apple, you plug right in, it'll download the software right on your phone. If you have Android, 
you'll download Android Auto. It's a free app in the App Store. And your phones, the phones have Google Maps, so it'll shoot the maps right up here, and it's going to look just like this. Neat. You don't have to pay for navigation anymore. Uh, the only thing it costs you is the data on your phone. Last thing I'll touch on here, uh, there's a lot, lot more stuff on this vehicle, but this will be the last thing I touch on here. Um, like I was saying earlier, this is all-wheel drive vehicle, but you can put it in front-wheel drive two-wheel drive right there for the summertime and then in the winter easy turn dial you're in four-wheel drive then you have some other buttons here the tow haul um, your lane departure warning and if you want to shut your uh, backup cam our backup sensors off if you have any questions any more questions about this vehicle and there is a lot of stuff I didn't touch on uh, please feel free to give me a call here my name is Pat Davis, and I can be reached at 715-475-1422. Thanks, and have a great day.